Having completed the cube corner, we're now going to create the strut. And the strut requires us to start a new component. So my working directory is already set. We're going to call this strut. No spaces in file names, remember, and 100 for the distance between the centers. So it's a new part, call that, and we're going to use the default template. So we can see now the datum planes and the coordinate system. I'm going to start this using a an extrude. The extrude dashboard opens across the top of the screen and under placement we can tell it we're going to define the sketch plane. The sketch plane we're going to use is the front datum plane. So as soon as I click on the front datum plane it populates the sketch dialog. I can click on sketch to begin sketching. The features toolbar is replaced now with the sketcher toolbar on the right hand side of the screen and temporarily the dashboard is greyed out while we're creating the sketch. The sketch will be located at the centre here and you notice we've got two reference lines just like we did when we have the corner cube. We're going to use a circle command, click on the intersection between the two reference lines and draw a small sketch. That's all we need in terms of lines so we can use the arrow tool to change the diameter of the sketch to 8 millimeters. This is going to be the peg that fits into the cube at either end. I'm happy with that so I can now click on the blue check mark in the sketcher to return me to 3D and the dashboard you'll notice is now active. I'm going to alter the view to a, a 3D view by dragging with the middle mouse button and zooming out to see what we've got. We've actually got a very long strut so I can alter the length of the strut either by manually dragging with the um, drag handle there or by changing the value here and the finished strut needs to be 90 millimeters long but we don't need it from one direction from this front datum plane where we drew the sketch we want it equal distance either side so we change the value in the drop down list here from a blind uh, depth to one that's equal distance on both sides of the dash of the um, sketch plane and we're happy with that so we can click on the green check mark and the extrude feature is added to the model tree we want another extrude and again using the front datum plane as the sketch plane and this is going to be the larger diameter circle and circle command a little bit bigger use the arrow tool to change the radius at uh, the diameter to 12 millimeters we can see how that's sketched at the center of the strut so when I finish doing my 2D sketching, I can click on the blue check mark to finish the sketch, take us back to the extrude dashboard. And again, we want to be symmetrical about the sketch plane. And this time we want a distance here of 70 millimeters. When we're happy with that, we can use the green check mark in the dashboard to complete the feature come back and look at it in let's say a trimetric view make sure that we remember to save work regularly and you're ready to continue to the next step